Hey folks, Scott here with ATX Bourbon. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at doing a blind tasting of three 15 year old Kentucky uh, bourbons. First one is going to be King of Kentucky. This is a single barrel. Um, like I said, 15 years old. This one's 130 proof and they're only 96 uh, bottles. So not a ton of that. Then we have that Doc Swinson's. I'm almost at the end here. This is probably the last video that has this guy in it. Um, this had a total of 18 barrels, so a little bigger batch than the one, obviously, and weighs in at only 118 proof. And then we've got uh, George T. Stagg. This is, of course, a 2019 release. The only one I've had um, a bottle of. I've had most of the bars or three samples, and it's 116 uh, proof. So, just going to take a look at these blind, kind of seeing how these three different um, Kentucky bourbons from different distilleries, uh, all 15 years old, all barrel proof. Um, all a rye, a rye mash bill, not a uh, not a weeded mash bill or something weird like Tricoli, or what was the EH other one, Amaranth. So we'll just dive right in and kind of see, you know, um, where these land. That King of Kentucky got a lot of hype. This first one's good. Um, you know, people like Fred Minnick really liked it. I don't tend to like Brown Foreman's distillate as much as other places. Not as bad. It's just not usually to my taste as much as other things. I really like that first one. I'm almost 100 percent sure it's the Doc Swinson's though. <laughs> um, I get him dining this out of it that I just don't think I would get from a stag or from the uh, King of Kentucky. It's really good, um, really easy to drink, uh, especially you know given it, it is a barrel proof. It's a minimum 116 proof. If it did be if it was the lowest of these guys, be the second glass. Oh. Putting 130 proof in there probably wasn't fair. I probably made this too easy. That stains the crap out of my nostrils. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, this is blind in the sense that I, I really didn't know which class was which, but this is going to be extremely easy. Um, that tastes like brown foreman. Uh, it's way hotter than the first one. I, I get why people like it. It's just not my thing. <laughs> And then uh, that the third one's almost assuredly the stag. Oh yeah, that that nice cherry. Um, you know, you, yeah, can't can't tell that. It's easy to tell that that's Buffalo Trace. Well, let's see. Maybe I'm way wrong. I've had a couple of these rated pretty poorly, but those are. Um, I think I'm pretty confident in this one. So I think the one I'm holding is the stag. Yeah, we got the uh, the G for GTS. I don't know. I'm bad at cameras and writing, obviously. Um, that second one was the uh, the brown format should be a K. Yep. And then the, the first one I tasted was the Doc Swinson's, the D. Anyway, um, these all taste really different. It's, it's just really crazy how, you know, 15 year old cash strength, they're obviously from different distilleries and it really makes a huge difference. Um, for me, the Stag was the best of the bunch. I like that Doc Swinson's, but it is not George C. Stag. And then, and then honestly, for me, the King of Kentucky is just a little too much. It's the ethanol, just the, the heat and the flavor. Um, let me take another sip of it here. Yeah, there's just this note I sometimes get from Old Forester, Old Forester Birthday Bourbon, too. And uh, a bit less, but on that um, Old Forester 1920, that's just a little bit like harsh for me. And there is sweetness, and there is this nice brown sugar. And there's a lot of things in there I like. It's good whiskey. I'd probably honestly put a little bit of water in it if I was drinking it. Um, like just you know, sitting down to drink a whole glass and not, not drink it uh, neat. It's just a little too hot for me. So I'd kind of go with the Stag, which was that third one I tried, the Doc, which was the first one, and then um, the King of Kentucky there and, and bring it up the rear for me. But like I said, I see why some of these guys who uh, really do like those really high proof, really aggressive bourbons love that. So anyway, thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time.